Hey guys, Mike here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install a CryoFall server on your own personal Windows computer. Now it's very easy to do and I'm going to go step by step to show you guys exactly how to do it. So first off what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this link right here and this will download the files for you. So once you download that, you can go ahead and put it where you want it. So we're going to go ahead and just put it right on this drive A. And we're going to save it. Now it doesn't normally take too long to save and it's done. So let's go ahead and open up this folder. As you can see, it's right here. So we're going to go ahead and extract this. You can go ahead and extract here. Now you can name this whatever you want. We're just gonna call, we're gonna change the name here to CryoFall Server. We're gonna open this up. Now you're gonna wanna go into binaries. You're gonna wanna go to server. Now on this, you're gonna wanna hit shift, right click on it. You're gonna go down here to open in PowerShell Windows. So now that you're in this screen right here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste this code right here, .NET space cryofall underscore server dot DLL space load or new. So basically what this is going to do is this is going to create a server for you. Now it's going to run through all this. It'll automatically stop it after. Now, as you can see right here, it says the port forwarding failed. Don't worry about that. We'll go ahead and set that up a little bit later. Now, as you can see, all of this is loading. This is telling you your server's already started. So you can go ahead and stop this by hitting stop space zero. Now that shuts your server down. Now let's go back up to where we saw the yellow font right here. Now, as soon as you see this right here, this is telling you your server is now online. So that would be this folder right here. So let's go back. We're going to go underneath the data folder. We're going to go underneath where it says server settings. We're going to go to edit this. So this is where you're going to edit your server. Now, if you want to make this private where only you play on it, you can just leave this as zero. But if you want other people to connect to it, what you're going to do is you're going to change this to a 1. Now you can set your name for your server right here. We'll call this CryoFall Tutorial. Short server description. This will be what will show up when they click on your server before they connect to it. So we'll just say test message. If I can spell message correct here. One, two, three. All right, now from here, this is what you're going to see when you first connect into your server. This will be like your welcome screen, basically. So down here, you can change how many frames per second you want. I normally change this to 60, but depends on your computer. If you have a lower grade computer, I would recommend keeping it at 40. 
So you can change basically all of these you want. So now you can change the player count. We're going to go ahead and put this down to 200. Auto save, we can change this. I'm going to probably go every 15 minutes. Backups, we're going to keep 15 backups on our computer as well. In the game save slot, go ahead and leave that at zero. So go ahead and save this file here. We're going to go ahead and close that. And we're done with this thing right here. All right. So what you can do is you're going to paste this code in right here. So it's going to .NET cryofall underscore server dot DLL load. Now, as soon as you hit this, this will load it up. Now, as soon as you see the yellow text saying that your firewall isn't working, then your server will be online. Automatic port forward and failed. Now, everybody's computer is a little bit different. Depends on what you got for your router. But to get to your router, let's go ahead and type in your password to your router. If you're using like Linksys or anything like that, most of the time it's admin and admin for your username and password. So go ahead under advanced. Now again, your setup's gonna be completely different. It depends on what you are using for a router. So you're gonna go down under your forward in here, under port triggered, and you're gonna add cryofall trigger and port 6000 and external 6000. So now we'll boot up the game. Now you're gonna go underneath community. If you do add mods, it will show up on this list here. Under community, we are looking for this server right here, Cryofall Tutorial. So as you can see, we got the test message, one, two, three. We got our 200 players. Let's go ahead and join the server really quick. And we will see our welcome message. Welcome to your new server. And it pops up right here. That is it. That is how you would set up a server through your local machine. In later videos, I will make one showing how to set one up on a virtual private server. That way you don't have to host it off your machine. But if you guys have any questions, leave some comments in the below and I will try to answer them the best of my ability.